Rose it by to the left side, over the hands, intercepted. You keep for Connor. He can go all the way. Goodbye. Still has the football after the play fake. Going into the end zone. Watch Davis or Bobo. Touchdown, Washington State. Miller Bobo with the catch. Separation, catch, touchdown, Huskies! lately but today they can save their season with a win against their nemesis bitter rival Washington State comes to Seattle still hoping for a chance at a Pac-10 title and a potential Rose Bowl berth the Cougars are looking for their third straight 10 win season but they've been upset in this backyard brawl the last two years and are looking to avoid another devastating loss it's an Apple Cup showdown Washington State takes on Washington next on Fox Sports Net it's a chilly afternoon in Seattle, Washington, but the Apple Cup rivalry is heating up the day as the dogs and cats get set for a backyard brawl. Washington State comes in number 10 in the BCS and going for their third straight 10 win season. It's a college football Saturday presented by Kiyosara with the Washington State Cougars ready to battle the Washington Huskies. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Fiziak. This is Tom Ramsey. The Apple Cup has always been one of college football's great rivalries. And while this is meeting number 96, none have been more important for Washington State because they have that BCS Bowl on the line. Well, a lot of implications in the BCS computer ranking, Steve, as we know. But Washington State, remember the last time they won this game? A few years ago, 1997, when they went to a Rose Bowl as well. So there's a lot of opportunity ahead of them. they got to get by the game today for Washington. In this series, they might get the bonus round. They might get a bowl game. But, you know, you look at these two teams, it's been se senior leadership, Steve, leading the way. And the guy for the Cougars, it's been Matt Kegel. He hasn't played a lot the last two games. He's had some shoulder problems, but I'll tell you what, he's a guy that can step up to the occasion, and he's been the catalyst for this Washington State Cougar team. And if Washington is to pull the upset, of course, they must go with Pickett and Williams, and those two guys have never lost an Apple Cup, and they've played huge in this big game. Well, and the Washington State defense, as good as they They've been this year. They still haven't found a way the last couple years to stop Cody Pickett and Reggie Williams. These guys have lit up the scoreboard, and I think if you're Rob Akey, the defensive coordinator for Washington State, you got to find a way to slow down Reggie Williams, and you just hope Cody Pickett doesn't get hot today. Pickett and Williams will try and slow down a Washington State team that wants a BCS Bowl, and they hope it's the Rose. Let's go back to the studio. 
Steve, Tom, thank you very much, and welcome inside our college football Saturday studios alongside the not enjoyed the capture of the Apple Cup. That must change today for Washington State to remain a BCS power. Our kickoff of Washington State at Wash Trail has been filled with holes. The combo of senior quarterback Cody Pickett to junior wideout Reggie Williams still very lethal. Can they add to their legend and pull off the upset against Washington State? Number eight, Washington State at Washington. A swan song for Cowboy Cody Pickett. I expect Cody Pickett to come out today and play extremely well. His senior year, for all practical reasons, this is his ball game. All the hype before the season started, Heisman Trophy candidate and everything. He wants to go out a winner. I expect him to play very well today. Should be a lot of fun. Always is when the Apple Cup is on the line. Don't forget our Pac-10 hookup. All the top 25 scores and highlights later on the Nissan Halftime Report. Washington junior wide receiver Charles Frederick wants a big day. Wants that Apple Cup to stay in Seattle. Our kickoff of number eight Washington State in Washington coming up next. Bill Dova proud of his Cougars who are 9-2 and two at 6-1 and one in the Pac-10. A half game lead on USC in the Pac-10 conference. It's meeting number 96 between Washington State and Washington. There is Keith Gilbertson. He spent three years as Rick Neuheisel's offensive coordinator. When Neuheisel was let go in June, Gilby took over a reeling program that now is in danger of their first losing season in 26 years. Now, Bill Dove on the other side, he's been coaching over 40 years at the age of 63. He is a head coach in college for the first time. But he is simply saying, He's in the right place at the right time because this Washington State team is really strong. Brock Alexander brings it out, and here's the Kiyosara offense for the Washington Huskies. Cody Pickett threw for over 4,400 yards last year, 28 and 60, but the separation of touchdowns to interceptions is the most dramatic, just two. Kenny James takes over for the injured Rich Alexis, but watch for Reggie Williams. He's the star, 82 catches this year. This offensive line is makeshift. Walker and Vanneman are new guards, and they are a redshirt freshman and sophomore, and Pickett has been on his back a lot because of the offensive line. Pickett going deep on the first play of the game, looking for Charles Frederick, incomplete. He threw it into double coverage. Jason David on the coverage. Now the Kiyosara defense for Washington State. Isaac Brown, Didi Achilano are the ends, and they're terrific. Watch for Jeremy Williams to stuff the run. The linebackers, Bennett has speed. Don Jackson controls the run, but Will Dirting will be blitzing from both right and left. The corners are Carl Pema, but the All-American candidate is Jason David, the other corner. Strong safeties in Eric Coleman and Virgil Williams. On the pitch, it is Kenny James. And James is the hard driving running back at 5, 10, 2, 15. He gains about five yards in the play. It'll be third down and five as Dirting makes the stop. And Steve, this Washington State defense, they run so well. Will Dirting right there. You see how fast he is, but what allows him to do that is to play that front four right there. They get what they want. They get a third and four. Take a look at where they stack up in the Pac-10, second in scoring defense, third in run defense, fourth in total defense. And they're number one in third down conversion defense. They just don't allow you to get first downs. Well, here's that third down conversion, third and four. They set up the screen to Frederick, and Frederick will get the first down by about a yard to the 32. They call him E.T. because that was his favorite movie growing up. Well, when you, when you play your rival, Steve, you, you got to do some things out of the ordinary. Right there, getting the ball to Charles Frederick. Everyone's anticipating Reggie Williams on the other side. He's had some stellar games against these Cougars, but you look at the numbers on Frederick, you got to find ways to get him the ball, too, and he's a game-breaker once he gets the ball in his hands. Remember their win over Oregon State? He caught nine passes for 216 yards. You bet he's a game-breaker. Out of the eye formation now, and Pickett will change up at the line of scrimmage, and he will throw, and Cody goes left side, caught by Williams, and down he goes after a three-yard game, but he hauled that in with one hand. The other Williams, we understand, had an unbelievable first half for USC as they are beating UCLA today. Well, this combination right here, just a short, little quick out, balls out in front of Reggie Williams. He makes a real nice catch on a ball that led him. Now, Cody Pickett, Steve, 
he's got he's throwing up some huge numbers okay and so has Reggie Williams it, these pair this pair has really proved unstoppable against the Washington State defense and they will run Kenny James he doesn't get much as a matter of fact he is stuffed at that line of scrimmage it will be third down and seven yards to go as Don Jackson the middle linebacker makes the stop but remember Two years ago, Washington State took on Washington here in Seattle, ranked number nine in the nation. They were upset because of Pickett to Williams 11 times in that game for over 200 yards. Last year, Washington State is ranked third in the nation. Pickett to Williams, big upset, 29-26 in three overtimes. So you never know in this Apple Cup. Pickett with time. He will scramble to the right and throws it away. D.D. Acellano, who has over 20 career sacks, was right in his face. And, and Steve, there's the speed. Watch Acellano off the corner, number 17. I mean, he that's that's a fast defensive end right there. He disrupts the timing of Pickett. And then he just flat out beats him to the corner and makes him throw the ball once he gets outside the pocket. Washington will now go with a fine punter Garth Erickson over 42 yards per boot will watch for Sammy Moore averaging close to nine yards per return he's brought a kickoff back for a touchdown and he almost brought one punt back for a score this year. Erickson has it blocked. Washington State has it at the 26. Just never he gets the ball and the rush came right up the middle. Washington State laid out. Looked like looked like it might have been Wagner. Player comes right up the middle. I mean, not even I mean, close to getting the ball off. I believe it was Wagner. Aaron Wagner, the yep. sophomore from Canada. Number 10, Aaron Wagner. So how about the field position for Washington State to start this game. But remember they're a first quarter team. They have hammered their opponents in the first period this year. And it is Kegel backing up the senior fires low. Remember he is playing with a second degree sprain in his right throwing shoulder. Terry Johnson brought the pressure. Now the Kiyosara offense we show you Matt Kegel he has two damaged shoulders and a damaged knee so he has one limb left that is healthy but he is Scott Lundy who's been his favorite receiver the last four games and watch for DeVar Darling fifth 43 catches this year an offensive line which has been steady and complete the last two weeks second down 10 yards to go. This is Jonathan Smith. And he is stopped at the line of scrimmage by Terry Johnson, the best D lineman the Huskies have. Here is the Kyocera defense. Ty Eriks will go with one end, but Johnson moved from the end to inside for this game against the Cougars. The linebackers, Galloway, Cooper, and Carruthers. Cooper is the best and their fastest over 80 tackles this year. And the secondary, they need big games from Johnson and Alexander. Benjamin and Newell had a rough game last week trying to tackle California as the Bears rumbled to a 54 7 victory and ran for over 380 yards. Owen Biddle comes out of the game, who is a backup safety from Bellevue, Washington. Looks like a shoulder. And Steve, you, you mentioned it a moment ago. Washington State has started fast on people. They've actually annihilated people in the first quarter. They've scored 113 points to the opponent's 25, and it's been the result of a fast defense putting the offense in great position. Third and 10. Kegel, quick strike, and he will get near a first down. It was Scott Lundy who was favorite target in the Oregon State game that we did on Fox Sports Net where Lundy went over 100 yards receiving and two big late scores. Boy look at the pressure on Kegel and you mentioned Lundy Steve Lundy look at the hands right there great possession receiver he's a strong athlete able to work over the middle does a great job out of the slot fourth and one they'll go for the field goal and this is Drew Dunning who has practically been perfect this year 23 of 26 
His long is 49, and this one is on the way, and it is good. And Washington State takes the early lead in the Apple Cup. 3-0 on Dunning's field goal. They're hoping a Coug holiday will be rosy. The BCS Bowl is a win. This is a big weekend for Washington State and the entire Pac-10 conference. If USC and Washington State win out, the Trojans should play for the national championship, and Washington State should go to the Rose Bowl. Well, on the return, Washington only gets it out past the 30-yard line. Adam Siri taking the short kick. Here is our virtual question on Fox Sports Net. What is the best rivalry in the Pac-10 conference? We at Fox Sports Net will have that Arizona-Arizona State game next Friday. How about Cal Stanford, the big game? Oregon-Oregon State, UCLA-USC, Washington-Washington State. To vote, log on to FoxSports.com. First and ten for the Huskies. Somebody moved right side, and it looked like Clay Walker. There he is, the big redshirt freshman from Scottsdale, Arizona. But that's been part of the problem. Pickett, you talk about him being off about a thousand yards from a year ago. He's also been on the seat of his pants a lot. You know, Steve, they, they've dealt with a lot of different a lot, a lot of different personnel groupings. And and that does affect a quarterback, who he throws to, how much time he has. And, and really, it's more of a timing issue than anything else because when you throw it off a half a second, that, that's a big that's a big gap for a quarterback. Blitz is on. Pickett picks it up, fires left and out of bounds. He saw the safety coming and the corner and had to get rid of it very quickly. So Virgil Williams in his face. Second down, 15 yards to go. You know, Steve, in, in the defense of Washington, they, they've actually done a pretty good job behind Keith Gilbertson. I'll tell you why. They, they're second in the conference in first down productions. They're tops in third down productions. But Keith Gilbertson, he referred to this year as a roller coaster ride. They've had a lot of issues off the field that has impacted the players because you know what the players are human after all they pick up the paper they hear the news you know they they hear what's going on the radio waves and it's challenging Kenny James slashing forward past the 30 yard line out near the 33 will dirting on the tackle 51 the outside backer from Okanogan Washington and, and you know we're talking about rivalries just a moment ago which ones are the best this is a healthy, respectful rivalry. Talking to Bill Dobe and Keith Gilbertson before the game, I mean, these guys respect each other's staffs. They know they're going to get a good ball game from their players. And Washington, remember, they've been the underdog the last two years and have upset a highly ranked Washington State team. And right there, the guy that can do it is Pickett. On third and eight, Pickett steps up. Now will scramble. He's past the 40, and Cody gets the first down to the 44. The rodeo cowboy rider from Cody Wyoming, born in Cody Wyoming. You gotta admire his toughness, Steve. He's playing hurt. Okay, Pickett's. He's been beat up. He's been barraged. Look at that right there, picking up a, a big first down. Donnie Jackson, 52, ends up throwing the hammer on him, bringing him down. And, you know, this Washington State defense, they, they want to always start fast, and they did early putting their offense in a pretty good position, but they, they can create a lot of problems on the third down. Pickett, right side, intended for his big freshman wide receiver, Corey Williams, who goes 6'3", 185. It is incomplete, second and 10, but you and I really felt it was going to be Washington's offensive line against Washington State's defensive line, which might be the key to the game. So many times, games are won and lost in the trenches, and you know what Washington State's been able to do they have as good a defensive line. They're right on par with Southern Cal. Southern Cal has a great defensive line, and they're able to rush four guys. When you can rush four guys, you free everyone else up to play football. They take it off to Zach Tuyasasoko, whose brother was a quarterback and a Rose Bowl champion a few years back. Now with the Oakland Raiders, Tuyasasoko gets it up to midfield. Steve, you know, Cody Pickett, uh, out of the top 10 single game passing performances in Washington's history, Pickett owns seven of the 10, 
and two of the ten are against Washington State. <laughs> so if, if you're Rob Aiken, the defensive coordinator, third and fours don't don't come kindly. They have Reggie Williams in the slot. Pickett will throw to Reggie. Reggie makes the catch. He's right at the point where he needed to get the first down. Let's see where they mark it. It looks like a favorable mark. And he made a great play at the end. He ended up lunging and, and putting the ball up. He, he knew exactly where the marker was. Watch him come off the line. I'm surprised Payma doesn't jam him right off the line because you want to disrupt the timing. Check out the marker right where he lays the ball. It looks like it came up a little short, but sometimes those markers aren't always right on. Game of inches. short huh well you're when you're Washington and you're five and six and three and four and Keith Gilbertson Why not? He's in danger the first losing season in 26 years he is a shoot from the hip kind of coach let's go for it Gilby will Gilby is uh, you know you like to call him a riverboat gambler but you know what he's a great football coach and, and I've known Gilby for over 20 years I'll tell you what Steve exactly right they're five and six why not? You got a great quarterback. You got some great players on offense out there. And you'd like to believe you could just lunge ahead and get it. But remember how good this team is now. Washington State, they'll stack you up at the line of scrimmage. And if you wait too long, they might stuff you. Fourth down conversions on the year, 6 of 12. One of his rare veterans on that offensive line is the guy who will be snapping in the football, Todd Backer, a senior from Mission Viejo. And he tries the middle. And it appears he has gotten the first down. Cody Pickett may have needed all six feet four inches of him. And one thing they did do is Jay Stryker signals first down, Steve. They went on the first color, first sound. Pickett wasted no time. He got right under center. They end up, which I think is a great technique. Watch. As soon as he gets underneath, it's tap, tap on the center's butt. Ball comes up. And there you have a first down. Nice call by Gilbertson and the Huskies. From the 45 yard line of Washington State. Cougars with a 33 yard field goal by Dunning. That's the difference in the ball game. They give it to Zach Tuyasasopo, and he has stopped by Ty Tupai and Jeremy Williams. Tupai has played awfully well. He's a guy that got in shape in the offseason. And Steve, when you talk about this Washington State team, it, it was their offseason when they started to make the difference in the run for their title. Referees aren't going to let the rivalry and the and the join get in the way of a good game here, Steve. So that's good that they throw an early flag. And that's a senior Isaac Brown who's called for it. And one thing is interesting about Bill Doba seniors. They have gone to the Rose Bowl. They have this could be their third straight 10 win season but they this group of seniors has never beaten Washington so a lot of emotion in this game a screen pass run to Kenny James James to the 20 and gets another Husky first down yeah, another nice play call little drop off screen here underneath Pickett ball comes out early and then he gets some nice blocks down the field Reggie Williams is downfield Khalif Barnes the big offensive tackle you see how fast James is there they like him and they like his upside Steve Rich Alexis of course their workhorse tailback was hurt earlier this year it's really gone to the young guys Kenny James and Shelton Sampson carrying the load now from the 18 James drops the football Washington State has it a block punt led to three points. What will this fumble recovery lead to? Oh, uh, Steve, they're number two in the conference in turnover margin, just trailing USC. You see right there that pressure defense by the Cougars. Freshman mistakes. And the handoff is to Jonathan Smith he will not get much maybe a yard to the 23 yard line as Jerome Stevens makes the tackle the best by leaderboard for Bill Doba well you've got the Cougars and the Nebraska Cornhuskers the most takeaway conscious teams in college football 
You already have two today by Washington State. Their, their motto, start fast, start fast, finish strong. Well, Washington State's done just that all year long. Hegel from the shotgun on second and nine. Plenty of time. He will throw deep. DeVar Darling is there, but the pass underthrown incomplete. And we have seen that against Oregon State and now against Washington where Kegel throws off his back leg and you wonder how much that right shoulder it is an AC sprain on his right shoulder that has cost him in the last three weeks. Well, it's got it. You know he's averaging about 245 yards a game Steve 18 touchdowns 11 interceptions a 55 percent thrower but that, that was thrown off his back leg. And What's interesting, considering the shoulder problems he's had, you, you'd really like to throw something a little more underneath. Right now, they've really kind of spread Washington out here. Four wideouts to each side. Hegel backs up again and fires. Again, underthrown. DeVar Darling is there at the 29-yard line, but it'll be shy of a first down. And you wonder how long Kegel will last. Josh Schwager led them to victory over Arizona State last week, completing almost 70% of his passes. But they want Kegel because he's the senior. It is fourth and four. Washington State plus two in turnovers in this game, but only up three points. Frederick says everybody get away from that football. It takes a great roll inside the 10 yard line. Sixty two yards on the punt. Kyle Bosler continues to haunt the Huskies. Thing lead Huskies with the football and must start their third possession at their own nine yards. Their last two possessions have ended with fumbles one on a punt and the other when they had gotten the football all the way to the Washington State 15 yard line Peggy will go to the air and it is almost picked off by Isaac Brown and he would have gone to the distance Oh zone blitz there Steve Isaac Brown a defensive end dropping into pass coverage watch him see him just come right out end up making a play getting out underneath the receiver that's good football there. Rob Akey, that's a coordinator, all Pac-10, honorable mention each of the last two years, and they have a lot of senior leadership up on that defensive line. Brown, Achilanu, Tupai, Jeremy Williams, and they're all playing well. They're all playing good football. Pickett checking out where Williams is. He is doubled by the Washington State secondary and fires left anyway. And he would have had Williams, but his pass too tall and a little late and Williams had to go out of bounds with it. Fantasy football players, listen up now. There's a show just for you with 30 minutes to of who to start, who to sit, and who's the player you need to pick up. Our experts do the work for you. It's the ultimate fantasy football show, and it's tomorrow, 10:30 Eastern, 7:30 on the West Coast on Fox Sports Net. An important third down and 10 situation for Pickett and the Huskies. Third and ten. Washington's good at converting third downs, and of course, Washington State's defense, the best in the conference at keeping people from converting. Pickett steps up, fires, incomplete at the 22-yard line. No flags. Trying to get the ball to Reggie Williams, Woo Steve. And you know that that's good coverage there. I tell you where Washington State's real strong. Watch Payma gets his hands all over, disrupts his release. Williams trying to work inside, and then Coleman, the safety Steve, who's playing so well, comes in, breaks up the pass, and that's just that's a good double team of the best receiver. Erickson this time gets it off, and a terrible one off the side of his foot. It hits at the 34-yard line and bounces backwards. Well, this Apple Cup rivalry, game number 96, and there have been some fabulous games in the past. One of the wildest was the 75 Apple Cup. Washington was down 27-14, but came back. And Warren Moon would have his pass tipped. It would go right into the hands of his favorite receiver, Spider Gaines, and he would go 78 yards. And that was the winning score as the Huskies beat the Cougars 28-27. Will we have an ending like that? That was a thank you very much, wasn't it? <laughs>
Three wides up top for Washington State. Cagle just fires it out to the left sideline. It is caught by Chris Jordan, the redshirt freshman from nearby Kent, Washington. And Jordan goes out of bounds. Jordan had caught the football the last two ball games after he had that coming out party against Stanford with two touchdown cast down catches. They like Jordan. He does a nice job once he gets the ball in his hands, run after catch, and that's a nice little wrinkle they have there. Going three wides and then going opposite. Gain of seven, second down three. Motion is tight in Cody Boyd. They run Jonathan Smith. He'll get the first down. Let's send you to our college football Saturday studio for a Kiyosara game break. That's a big one for LSU and awfully important games for Washington's are USC winning and Michigan beating Ohio State because that's the Cougars chance to get to the Rose Bowl and a BCS Bowl as Jonathan Smith spins and rips to the 17 yard line. Our higher standards take a look at the BCS with Oklahoma still winning. Look at their total 1.80. They're a fantastic football team. So Ohio State you cross them right now you got Oklahoma SC LSU Steve and this is what I don't quite understand. Oklahoma still plays in the Big 12 championship game now. And I've heard by by reason of, you know, they got a 1.80 mark there, right? If they lose the Big 12 championship game, they may still be re a representative in the BCS championship game. Help me understand that. You lose and you still end up. But they have, would have one loss, on. just like I the know. Games. But you know what? We're a team for playing good at the end of the year. Well, there's a play at the end of the year. DeVard Darling with a touchdown catch from Matt Kegel. 17 yards and it's 9-0. It's the first quarter dominance of Washington State. Their defense puts them in great positions in the offense, takes control. Kegel to DeVar Darling, Steve. And DeVar Darling really has been playing well of late. Came into the game with 43 catches, averaging almost eight yard, 18 yards a catch. His seventh touchdown of the year. And Darling shot a strong first quarter, 10 0 lead on the Washington Huskies. And here comes Rock Alexander, and he's busted down at the 22 yard line. But again, short field. Washington State doesn't have far to go. Matt Kegel, once again, putting the ball down the field, Steve, giving his player an opportunity to make a play. Throwing it up high to DeVar Darling. And Darling coming down with it. Let's take a look at the Nissan scoring drive. Only four plays, 33 yards, and a 23 off the clock. Darling, his 18th career TD catch in his seventh of the year. From the 21. Pickett is sacked. Didi Ancelano. 27 and a half career sacks. Steve, it's the players coming off the edge. Watch, he just comes in, crashes, puts a move on Tuiasa Sopo, puts a move on the tackle. Next thing you know, it's a sack on Pickett. And when you have quick players on the edge, boy, it just allows you that much more disruption. Take a look. Most QB sacks, WSU history, he's knocking on the door. Well, Dwayne Patterson's still kind of way out in front, but he's 10 away. Will run the option and they get it out to the 20-yard line, but they'll still be well shy of a first down. It'll be third down. And what scares you if you're Keith Gilbertson, this is a team with a very fragile psyche. They need to start well. They're down 10-0. Last week he said Cal runs a post and they run the post straight down the field into three defenders and they score on a 78 yard touchdown he said it was like the whole air left the football team and they could not come back and compete emotionally well I'll tell you what takes the air out of an offense is when you're facing third and ten every third down you have the last two third downs have been just that four man rush Pickett steps up now fires underneath and it's dropped the ball is dropped by Isaiah Stamback, the redshirt freshman from Seattle Garfield High School, who also is a backup quarterback for the Huskies. So it's three and out for Washington, and they are having trouble against a Cougar team, which has started almost every time with great field position. 
And they put a lot of pressure on Garth Erickson today. The first punt, of course, blocked, ruled a fumble, but they're coming after it today. Erickson, line drive kick, will hit near midfield and take a, a very fine bounce inside the 40 yard line and down to the 37. This week on Fox NFL Sunday pregame show, our Terry Bradshaw takes a look at how Green Bay quarterback Brett Favre has handed off the weight of the Packers' success. And our Jimmy Johnson talks with coaching legend Bobby Knight to discuss the art of coaching and about his good friend Bill Parcells. It's all on the Ford F-150 Fox NFL Sunday pregame show tomorrow at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific on Fox. You've got two rivalries on Fox Sports Net this week. Washington, Washington State, then next Friday, Arizona and Arizona State. Kegel, hands off, Chris Brune, and Brune goes out of bounds after a five yard gain. Bill Doba, the head coach for the first time in his college career, talked about the rivalry of the Apple Cup. It's really a hard-fought ball game. The guys are knocking the heck out of each other. But after it's over, you know, a lot of these guys are teammates in high school. And you see them go up the tunnel, you know, talking arm in arm, how's mom and dad. Uh, it, it's been, a, a, I think, a really healthy, healthy rivalry. Well, right now, Washington State with a 10-0 lead in this rivalry. And here goes Washington State's Chris Brown for a first down to the 45 yard line. Evan Benjamin making the touchdown saving tackle. Brune just explodes up the middle Steve watch they end up getting a block linebacker gets locked up and next thing you know Brune's through the hole and good running good blocking at the point of attack and you know you, you think Washington State sometimes you think that they're such a, a, a great passing team but they came in this, into this game Mike Levenseller the offensive coordinator really balanced 418 rushes against 411 passes that, that's pretty darn good over 800 some odd plays and why not run I mean they are just ripping off yards like Cal did last week Cal ran for over 380 yards against this Husky defense averaging 11 yards per carry well it, it goes into the whole foundation of their team Steve George Yarno the offensive line coach and Mike Levin seller along with Bill Doba you, you know they know they have a great defense you have to play ball control you have to be able to run the ball effectively in November when it gets cold field conditions get a little sloppy and you, you know credit Yarno the offensive line coach have done a great job up front this is really the only second game in a row where they've had the same offensive line start two, two games in a row Kegel in trouble now he escapes and gets to the 35 yard line in Husky territory Well, middle backer Tim Galloway makes the stop Kegel has been banged up so much this year and Bill Doba said he should be just fine before that Oregon State game because he doesn't have any shoulders left to get hurt. <laughs> he says of the four limbs he has one left <laughs> one healthy leg. Kegel 300 more passing yards in five games this season really has been the guy at the controls all year long and really has been the senior leader among that whole group to really motivate that whole group along this year. Well, they give it to Chris Brown. There was movement on the left side of the offensive line, and it looked like Cody Boyd, the tight end, moved prematurely. Now you still have an opportunity here. Remember how effective Dunning's been all year long? Prior to the snap, ball start on the offense, five yard penalty, still third down. Well, that will change things up because they had the heavy load look yep. like they were going to give it to Bruin straight up the middle. Now third and six, they may spread it out again. Our Microsoft email the booth question. You can send your questions and comments to Fox Sports Net at MSN.com. Bring it on. Ramsey's got all the answers. He was a former quarterback and an academic star as well. <laughs> and I'm online all the time. <laughs> yes, you are. Kegel throws, gets the first down, and wow, was his tight end Benjamin stuck by Benjamin. 
That's just a, a darn right good throw, Steve. He puts it right on Benjamin, and then Benjamin gets clocked. But a, again, a quick hitter, and that that quick passing game that Washington State utilizes, it, it's very similar to a run game. Quick hitting, no chance of a sack. Ball comes out quick. That'll be the end of the first quarter. So we have played 15 men points this year against their opponents. The last time was last year. And Washington upset number three Washington State 29 26 in three overtimes. Matt Kegel to the air and he will throw it away. Kegel, the senior from Haver, Montana, population 13,500. Matt says he loves to go home and do some elk hunting and fly fishing. A little rod probing, fly fishing. Remember, his cousin was Ryan Leaf, the great right. quarterback at Washington yeah. State. And the story is that Matt Kegel was wearing a Husky cap his senior year in high school, and Ryan Leaf was home when they're driving in the family station wagon. <laughs> and Ryan Leaf grabbed the Husky cap off his hat, head, and threw it out the window, never to be seen again. That's a good story. Here goes Kegel trying to hand off. They do get it to Bruin. He's to the 30 yard line. Let's go back to 1982 in this great Apple Cup rivalry. Maybe the biggest upset. Washington was fifth in the nation. They had a late drive, but Washington State had the big interception. And why not tear down the goalpost? They were playing that ball game at Martin Stadium, and 24-20, the Cougars won it. And I couldn't have been happier, Steve. That ended up helping us, helping UCLA get to the Rose Bowl that year. Tom Ramsey, the starting quarterback of those Bruins. Number 14, he had a mustache back then. <laughs> That's right, a little historical information <laughs> for folks at home, right? On the plays, both after the play. Dead ball, personal foul on the defense. Dead ball, personal foul on the offense. Penalties offset. Down will be three. Now, I wonder how many offsetting penalties are thrown in on rivalry Saturday. I was thinking the same thing. There's always a few. Ohio always State, few. Michigan today, USC, UCLA. Huh? Well, they'll spread them out again on third and eight. Lundy in the slot left side. He was the favorite target the last three weeks. 26 catches last four games for Scott Lundy. Kegel looks at one. Fires down the middle. It is almost intercepted. It is intercepted. It's Jimmy Newell. And there's a flag down, Steve. I, I thought the ball hit the ground, too, before Newell caught it. Let's see what the ru ruling on the field is. Well, he tried to force the ball into Lundy. It's illegal procedure Ooh. on Washington State. By golly, did he? I thought it touched green as well, Rams. But they give it to the Huskies. The first turnover for Matt Kegel and Washington State. Cougars with a 10-0 edge. The holidays are coming fast, and so are gifts that go from your Honda dealer. All with straight deals featuring zero down payment, zero payments for three months, and 6.9% fixed APR financing for up to 60 months on any new Honda. Plus great values like the best-selling 350cc Rancher starting at $38.99 and CRF starting at $11.99. So you better get going before the gifts that go are all gone. How about we find a new family car? VHicks.com lets you design a car online. Uh, Coupe or a sedan? Coupe? Sedan? Pick your style. Take that as a yes. Pick your features. Oh, you like that 2.7 liter V6, don't you? Leather interior? 
and get the ideal car for your particular situation. No leather interior. VHicks.com, roadmap to the automotive world. You're watching Fox Sports Net. Washington State's run defense is ha, has been good all year long, continues to be good on first and second down, and plays right into their philosophy. They, they want third down stops. That's a big element of this defense, and, you know, it looks to me like they're playing third down stop on every down. Bill Doba, really the architect of the defense, having been the defensive coordinator, rush yards allowed per game, only 65, nine wins. This year at 195, the two losses against Notre Dame and Southern Cal. You better be able to run on Washington State if you're going to have success. The Huskies have not been able to do that. And now the Cougars come up with their second sack, and both have been by D.D. Achilanu. Achilanu is one of these guys, Steve. He's you know, he's about 245 pounds, a defensive end. He's right here on the corner, comes in. You know, he's a guy, though, that to me could be, he, you know, he's quick enough to play strong safety at the next level. I promise you, you, you know, if you can want a big guy that can just bring it, I mean, he can fly. He can flat out fly. I'd love to see him line up in a two-point stance and see what he can do. I haven't heard too many defensive ends going to safety. Well, there is a, it almost looked like the punt was partially blocked. Now it's picked up by Sammy Moore, and Moore tries to escape left side, and he is tackled at the 32. Great pursuit by Washington. Timeout on the field, 10 minutes and 49 seconds remaining in the first half. And Lake Washington, and there's plenty of action here at Husky Stadium, a sold-out crowd for the 96th Apple Cup. Washington down 10 nothing to Washington State over 80,000 here at Husky Stadium and they were rocking and rolling early but two turnovers led to 10 points and they have been sitting down. I mean this is one of the most interesting lopsided rivalries in college football because just about every single game is competitive but look at the Huskies dominance in the last 84 home games. And it's a tough place to play, Steve, but the, but the crowd noise, not a factor today. Those two turnovers really have taken the crowd out of the game. Kigo whips it right side. Right on top of that play is the defensive back, Evan Benjamin. Troy Benneman on the catch. Benjamin comes flying up from his strong safety position. Steve might have, might have come through him a little early. Pretty good timing by Benjamin. 61 tackles, one interception. You know, the, the playmaker, Steve, really in this defense, Marquise Cooper, the linebacker, inside linebacker, we haven't heard much of him today. He's playing behind Terry Johnson, Cooper right there. You'd expect a few more plays out of him. He just has to have his name called for today. Blitz is on. Kiko is set back at the 22. They brought Terry Johnson. That's his first sack in three games. The Pro Scouts love Johnson. Steve, he lines up inside, beats his man. You see Kegel get flushed out. He's not going to, Kegel's not going to outrun you. Terry Johnson, a converted tight end, comes in, makes the play, tackle for loss, and a sack. Kyle Bosler. Frederick lets it go. It bounces to the 30 and takes a Cougar roll still to the 26-yard line. He has had two excellent punts with long rolls. Tomorrow, Fox NFL Sunday begins with America's number one pregame show. Then the Panthers battle the Cowboys in a showdown between two of the most surprising teams in the NFL. Or the Bears take on the Broncos in a game with huge implications to Denver's playoff chances or other regional action. Coverage begins at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. The biggest stories are in the NFC, and the NFC is on Fox. Steve, for as good a punt returner Charles Frederick is, letting the ball bounce now and two consecutive punts, he's cost his team about 40 yards it just in just in field position yardage. And it really, he's a veteran there. You, you, you think he'd make the call early where I can get that football and at least get the team five yards. Pick it. Dumps 
it off to Kenny James, and James comes up with something, and that fumbles the football! The third turnover by Washington! can't win playing like this. James second fumble of this game. James gets hit real hard on the sideline Steve the ball comes out. Isaac Brown there. Carl Payma I believe is the one that recovers it for the Cougars and once again opportunistic football by Washington State. Oh Virgil Williams just unloaded on him. Payma right there pounces on the ball. And it pays off. You know, they have not had a 1,000 yard running back since Corey Dillon in 1996. But really, Rams, when you take a look at that, if they had an effective senior, a guy like Rich Alexis. But Alexis got hurt, tore a quad, and they've had to go with two redshirt freshmen. And it has cost the Huskies. Washington State with a 10 nothing lead over Washington and the Cougars come right out of the break and Kegel goes deep Sammy Moore down the sideline he can't hold on it will be second down and 10 yards to go at Sam Cunningham on the defense along with strong safety Evan Benjamin and Steve they came with a middle blitz that time out of the defensive backfield put a ton of pressure on Kegel made him unload the ball early earlier than he wanted to. Washington State second and ten. I, I expect them to control the ball here again. Keep it on the ground. Well, they go back to the ground and Smith is stuffed. This is a big defensive stand for Washington because if they give up a touchdown with that fragile psyche, they might just get blown out of this game. But uh, Manasso Boy, number 56, making the stop there, Steve, the junior defensive end. You know they've got good play at times from their defensive line and at other times they just haven't been they haven't been as strong as they need to be in that interior. I, I, I think if you're still snow right here you bring the blitz again. Well, why not go to Scott Lundy he's been Kegel's favorite target the last three weeks. Lundy goes inside Kegel was looking for him now he's going to have to throw it. Steve, the defense is trying to keep the crowd in the game. Evan Benjamin makes a great play and credit Terry Johnson, the defensive tackle. He ends up coming out, putting a lot of pressure on Kegel, forces him into a bad throw. That, that's three guys around a receiver around Lundy. That ball doesn't have a chance of getting completed. And Evan Benjamin comes up with another stellar play. But now Washington must make the Cougars pay. Look at that 12 turnovers in their first seven games and they have made way too many since. The catch for a first down off in the left sideline or excuse me right sideline by Charles Frederick. Steve I, I still think Cody Pickett is going to crash the NFL party I agree. big time. This guy can throw it all over the yard last year the first quarterback in the history of the Pac-10 to go over 4,000 yards, and he's knocking on the door of 10,000 yards in his career. He, he can spin it, man. That, that guy, he can get the ball comes out of his hand. He's got a great set of legs, and he's got number one, Reggie Williams. And that will help you. Well, he goes back to the right side, and this time it's his fullback who has split out Zach Tuiasa Sopa who makes the catch. And I'm not sure if he can trust Kenny James right now. James has two fumbles and Keith Gilbertson's going we're not going to hand it off to the freshman. We'll throw it out to the juniors and seniors. Yeah, you said it earlier. It's, it's hard. You, you know college football is hard and, and redshirt freshman. It, you know there's a lot of things happening out there. and You've got to secure the football. You've got to be able to make plays. And, and they miss you. You said it early. They miss Rich Alexis Reggie Williams right now lining up in the slot. Appears to have one on one coverage. Again, to James. James 
the redshirt freshman goes out of bounds. He holds on to the football. It will be third down and about five yards to go. Well, at least they have something under 10 yards here on third down, Steve. They've had several third and tens. They've had a couple third and twelves. Third and five gives you a chance. Williams has been dominant all season long, coming upon 100 catches. Six and a half minutes left. Williams will fill the slot again, and they will double him. We've got Al Genitone showing blitz right side linebacker. Here he comes. Pickett reads the blitz, throws it left side. It is incomplete. Intended for Corey Williams, the true freshman from Las Vegas, Nevada. There is a flag down in the play. Virgil Williams, the defender on that play, Steve, just made a tremendous play Be because the ball was caught. Corey Williams caught the ball and then it just got jarred out. Defensive holding, so that'll be an automatic first down for the Huskies. They caught him in a blitz. Steve, one on one outside. Pickett, ball down the field. See Williams just strip the ball out. Virgil Williams, a senior, strong safety, who can cover like a free safety. They're interchangeable. Those safeties really do a nice job of helping each other out, inverting when they have to, and making coverage plays. Corey Williams moves to the left. High formation. They're showing a run from midfield. And they will run the ball to Kenny James, and he locks up for a five, six-yard run. Kenny James, who came in averaging four and a half yards per carry. Keith Gilbertson has not given up on the redshirt freshman, and he slams forward for about five, six yards. Our MetLife trivia question, which teams lead the all-time series in these four rivalries? Ohio State, Michigan, Auburn, Alabama, Yale, Harvard, and the Army-Navy game. The bonus question is, if you can tell us which series is closest, you will get extra points. <laughs> Blitz on, screen to James. He breaks one tackle. He cannot break the second tackle as Don Jackson brings down number eight. Okay, so third and two, Steve. You got to get on the board. 528 left in the first half. Washington, you, you want to be able to keep it close here. And it, the likelihood that you'll get blitz right now. I think you got to get the ball outside. I don't think you can run inside just because of the and they're lined up like they're going to run. But the speed of the Washington State defense just too much. They're going to run the option. Pickett's going to keep it. Cody gets the first down inside the 35 yard line to the 34. And the one play that's always in the Washington arsenal is the option. We saw Marcus Tuiasisopo run it so effectively a couple years ago so good because that's the one thing when you can stack them up inside you can get out on the edge you know Cody Pickett has been banged up they don't want to run option a whole lot with him but but he's got such great feet I get you first down or two but Keith Gilbertson really feels that just having the option in the offense makes the defense adjust so much during the week and Pickett drops back to throw three steps and a first down to the 22 yard line, Reggie Williams. Combination. Pick it to Williams. It's good for 20 TDs in their career. These two guys have hooked up quite often. Reggie Williams, 6'4, 225 pound junior. Five catches in the game for 45 yards. That's 87 receptions this year. And if he gets 13 today, Steve, he becomes the all-time Pac-10 leader, breaking Troy Walter's record. Troy now with the Baltimore Ravens. Pick it, pump fake, going deep. Intercepted! The fourth turnover by 
by Washington in this game. Carl Pema with the interception. Just don't throw this. Don't throw it. He's covered. He's covered. He's covered. Low pump fake. Tries to get the ball up, Steve. And, and you know what? Not close. If you throw it high and away, if you throw it high and away, Williams has a chance. But but he underthrows it, and he underthrows it into coverage. If you throw it high and away, one guy's got a chance to, to make a circus catch. And I'd, I'd let Reggie Williams try and make a circus catch. Well, did he fall into the look that a lot of great quarterbacks have in the fact that you have a great receiver and you throw it up and you figure even in double, sometimes triple coverage, that that guy's going to come down with it. Well, you've got to give him a chance, though. Washington State, look at that, the Washington State pickoff artist, 23 picks this year alone. Pema, Jason David, Eric Coleman, all of these guys are ball hawks. Well, heck, they had seven in one game against the Oregon Ducks in their 55-16 slaughter of Oregon back at September 27. That was a game where Oregon turned it over nine times. Very uncharacteristic of Oregon, a Mike Blondie offense. Chris Broon tries to get outside, but he's wrapped up by Benjamin. Evan Benjamin, he has been the star for the Huskies defensively in the first half. Hey, Steve, what Keith Gilbertson say to us the other day? He said, the conference is so well balanced. When you look at the Pac-10 from top to bottom, if you don't bring your A game on Saturday, you get beat. You have to bring your A game because that's how good these teams are week in, week out. Now, the only team that really is above the rest today, USC is playing great football and deserving of a BCS shot, a championship spot. And USC beat UCLA today, 47-22. Kegel on third down, flips it, first down, Chris Jordan past the 35-yard line. He fumbled the football. Ball came out late, and I don't see the referees scrambling. In fact, they, they walked very nonchalant to the pile, and, and every other player on the field, all 22, scrambled to the football. And Manas Hopoi comes up with it, but we still, referees haven't signaled. Jordan is down and hurt, but he had about, oh, eight or nine people on top of him. Jordan got rocked. Watch Kegel, Steve. He stands in underneath throw. Chris Jordan. Then you see his Jets. Boy, he doesn't have control of the ball. Never had control of the ball. He, when he went down, it looked like he had a little control of it. Manas, Manas Hopoi, 56, was the one who got it. Golden opportunity for the Huskies, Steve, with 2.41 left. Washington will have the football on the fumble recovery, but look at the number of turnovers already in the first half alone. Seven. Apple Cup. Let's go back to the 1992 Apple Cup. Drew Bledsoe now with the Buffalo Bills. He said it was the first game they ever played in the snow, and he throws deep to Philip Bobo and watch him slide after the catch. A touchdown for Bobo. A great grab. And Drew Bledsoe leads the Cougars to a 42-23 victory for Washington State. You love to so, play in those games. Some guys just play really good in the snow. I don't. No, nor would I want to. Drew, Drew Bledsoe said they went out there and it was snowing and he said we're going to have fun today. Everybody that. loves to play in the snow. Not you Southern California last no, no, no. Most career pass yards in Apple Cubs. Ryan Leaf 900. Drew Bledsoe. That's pretty good company. Cody Pickett's in. I think Pickett's going to fly by Mr. Leaf today. points yeah. just for their self-esteem and to regain momentum to have a chance in this game. Well, Steve, right now you're in four down territory for Washington, so they're going to take advantage of being in plus territory, but, you know, trying to run a trap to the fullback on first down, I I think you got to go back to your bread and butter. Cody Pickett brought you to the party. You know what? Leave the party, at least attend the party with him and continue going to the party. Stay with these two guys down here, Fredericks, Territory. Our 
our MetLife trivia question. Which teams lead the all-time series of these four rivalries? Buckeyes and Wolverines, Alabama-Auburn, Yale-Harvard, Army-Navy. And the answer is Michigan, Alabama, Yale, and Army. The closest series, Army over Navy, 49, 47, and seven times. And at one of the service academies. Two minutes left. Reggie Williams down at the bottom of the screen here, Steve. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Kenny James gets the first down. Close. I thought he got past the 28, but let's see the mark. I don't I don't know if they gave him a good mark. You're right. I saw the line judge walking right at the 28. And when the umpire marks him at the 28 and a half. And coming up at the half on our Nissan halftime report, Mike Goldberg, Kellen Winslow will take you around the Pac-10 conference and all of college football, a BCS breakdown because Michigan beat Ohio State today in the big house. USC big over UCLA down in Los Angeles. And here, I got, I got, the, BCS. About a foot. I got the BCS breakdown. I wish it would break down out in the desert somewhere. Well, you know, just watching <laughs> USC demolish Arizona 45 nothing and Ohio State win an overtime over Purdue and then leapfrog them. I mean, there hasn't been a more impressive two teams in college football the last month of the season than the University of Southern California Trojans and the Oklahoma Sooners. Big fourth down conversion. Washington appears to get it as Cody Pickett surged forward over his center, Todd Backert. And the clock will stop to reset the chain, Steve. So you got a minute 53. You get your full slate of timeouts. You get your full slate of timeouts. So they use one. Good wise decision there. Keith Gilbertson down 10 nothing to Washington State. Our college football Saturday coming your way next Friday. It's Arizona battling Arizona State. This is one of those tough rivalries, and it'll be taking place in Tempe, Arizona, 3 o'clock Eastern Time, 12 o'clock West Coast. Big question going on right now is who will be the next head coach of the Arizona Wildcats? A lot of people talking about Mike Stoops, the yeah. Oklahoma coach. Bob's brother. There's a lot of possibilities here. A lot of possibilities. Well, this is a huge possession for Washington to get back in this game. And we're talking about emotionally with the confidence taking that momentum to the second half because this is a football team that has been reeling. They've had the ability to beat very good football teams in Oregon and Oregon State this year. And then to watch them give up 729 yards total offense against Cal last week and lose 54 to 7 was embarrassing. Oh, it's demoralizing or an aim. But Steve, right here, you're Washington. You still have two timeouts. Okay. What you don't want to do if you're Cody Pickett, under no circumstance, take a sack here. If, if your receiver's not open, you throw it away. Reggie Williams in the slot once again. They're probably going to double him. At least they, they, they're showing double. So work your outside guys. Four man rush. They throw underneath. Three outs of circle. Breaks one tackle. Gets about two yards away from a first down. Well, I like I like Zach Tuiasisopo. Big fullback. He was playing defensive end a year ago, Steve. And, you know, a, a, another great athlete named Tuiasisopo. <laughs> they can do it all. And there's a younger one coming. First down to the 15 yard line, 116 remaining before first half. Washington State taking the lead on a Drew Dunning 33 yard field goal and a touchdown pass of 17 yards from Matt Kegel to DeVar Darling. Washington has been shut out until the 113 mark, and now with the clock moving, they're trying to go on the scoreboard for the first time. James, good hold. A run of four yards to the 11. Take a shot. They're going to call timeout again. Well, we told you how 
Washington has not played well. They have a record of five and six, three and four in the conference play, and it has been an up and down season. And we talked with Keith Gilbertson about the difficulties. I get excited and I get low. My wife now makes me shave with an electric razor. Uh, she hit all the blades. Uh, there's no rope at home. Uh, only sewing thread, which wouldn't hold me. So, yeah, I mean, I'm like everybody, man. I gotta, you know, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm up and down. I'm, you know, I mean, Saturday I was probably about as low as a, guy, as a coach could be. And Keith Gilbertson is a guy who is a tremendous football coach, but really not given much of an opportunity because Rick Neuheisel let go in June. They give Gilby the job in on August 1st. He has one month to bring in a new coaching staff, new defensive coordinator, new offensive coordinator. But really, it has been topsy turvy. Well, you, you know what? He brought in a good staff. Yes, he and, did. And, and and, and they're going to become a better staff because of the guys he has are all quality guys. And, and Keith Gilbertson knows football, Steve, inside and out. And more importantly, he's retained a sense of humor. <laughs> One minute to go. Pickett fires. Has Reggie Williams, and Williams has the first down to the four-yard line. It's first and goal. you got to be careful. Well, you got to be careful Ooh, here. Reggie, yeah. Reggie Williams limping off. It's holding his, holding his knee. Watch him go off the line, Steve. Just sits down. He gets hammered. Dildine there. Not sure where. Oh, oh. right there. Oh, yeah. It did kind of turn, didn't it? Man. You know, they play on the field turf here. It's not. And hold up real well. And there are many who are saying, as you can hear the crowd chant Reggie, Reggie, that they know that this likely will be his final game at Husky Stadium. He is a junior, so he will be draft eligible. And as Bill Dova told us, who's the Washington State coach, he's one of the finest receivers he has ever seen. But this is a violent sport. He has been a great warrior for this Washington program. The Bank of America higher standards. He is now just six catches from Troy Walters, who did it in four years at Stanford. And Reggie trying to pass him in just three. Man, that's not good when he's getting carried off by a couple people. First and goal from the four. Pickett looking, looking. Has time. Now to Rhodes. He fires right side. Incomplete. Hema almost picked off his second pass of the game. Cody Pickett is so good, Steve, in the pocket and his elusiveness in the pocket. Watch. He'll come out, float left. Okay. He's kind of floating. Oh, oh, breaks off. He just didn't get the ball out far enough. Charles Frederick. Wanted to get led to the outside. Payton made a nice play. Second goal. I think you go to the end zone again. And Frederick becomes the go-to guy. Pickett looking, firing. It's a touchdown to Charles Frederick. Just what they needed there, Steve. A little emotional lift. Nice throw back in the end zone here. Frederick right along the back end line. And you see Pickett and his leadership there. Not, not getting down after a poor throw and an interception earlier. They put together a nice drive here and get some points on the board. Well, in the times we have done the Apple Cup, they have always been tight and tense. We have one more. It's 10 to 7. Washington State with the lead, but Fredericks bringing back the Huskies. Kids remaining in the first half. The number eight team in the nation, the Washington State Cougars, have a three point lead, and Washington kicks it end over end. Short kick, which will be taken by Sammy Moore, and Moore is out near the 20 yard line, but that's all. And with 34 seconds left, 
and Kegel throwing some picks, you would think that they'll go right to the locker room. Well, here's Pickett's touchdown to Charles Frederick. And the best part about this throw, Steve, puts it towards the back of the end zone. One guy can make a play. That's Charles Frederick. The touch on the ball, superb placement. Take a look at the Nissan scoring drive. Ten plays, 38 yards for the Huskies. 2.02 off the clock. Great use of timeouts that time. Most career TD passes. Cody Pickett with 52. UW history. He's climbing the Pac-10 ladder as well. Brock Heward finally broke that tie. Well, there was a penalty on the play with moves the football out to the 36 yard line a late hit by Washington 34 seconds remaining Reggie Williams in the sideline with an injured left knee we will update you with that as we check it half. Kegel to the air. Is that Josh Schwager? It's Josh Schwager coming in and he goes out of bounds near the 45 yard line. So Kegel is out and Josh Schwager comes in the redshirt freshman who led the team to a victory over Arizona also leaving is Chris Jordan. Washington State's redshirt freshman wide receiver from Kent Washington but Schwager was outstanding in their win over Arizona State last week completing 14 of 20 passes for 207 yards and his first college touchdown pass. He's from Youngstown Ohio and a big lad at 6'5 238. And they like Schwager. Blitz. Schwager trying to throw it away. with the first down catch 17 seconds left Steve we've seen some great plays in college football this year but here here's a middle blitz Evan Benjamin can't hang on Swagger has the presence to fire the ball down the sideline but but he hits presence it. or luck uh, well it might be a little of both because he puts it right on the money he saw his man you know what he's taking a big chance because if somebody in purple picks it off they might still be running Josh Schwager against Arizona State last week completed almost 70 percent of his passes. Schwager with a little swagger I'd say because Steve that that's a strong arm right there as evidenced by the last play and see him put the ball up to Darling last week. Schwager knowing that Kegel's a little banged up coming into the game Steve and Mike Levenseller in the middle of that huddle the offensive coordinator he's he's happy to have Schwager big kid you said. Remember Tim Tim Rosenbaugh the quarterbacks coach I mean there's no better guy to show you toughness and especially as a backup quarterback you got to be able to you're always one play away but there's Swagger coming in eh? and Levin Seller said he has a great demeanor for a freshman he's low yep. key he's flat doesn't get too emotional this has got to be more luck than talent no he see he oh, knows yeah. where his guy is <laughs> but it's the arm strength that gets the ball out you know 30 yards up the sideline you don't think he's going to come to the sideline maybe we'll watch a little video with Levin Seller and Levy's going to say Josh don't do that again there goes Swagger complete at the 18 yard line intended for Troy Benham in the tight end 12 seconds left now what do you do here Rams you got 12 seconds left you have timeout remaining yep well just know you have one of the best kickers in the country Steve and Drew Dunning and you, you need about you need about eight yards so you got to get to the 30 and you know what throw something over the middle call timeout and, and bring in Drew Dunning if you get points on the board before the end of the half you've done your job. Washington State will take one of their timeouts. Coming up on our Nissan halftime report, Mike Goldberg and Kellen Winslow will be taking a look around the Pac-10 and all of the rivalries. Oregon with Oregon State, USC with UCLA, and how everybody's doing. Also, the BCS, are they breaking down or are they just taking a look at the BCS today? LSU, of course, the number three team in the nation, went into Mississippi and won on the road 17 to 14. We saw last week Ohio State jump over USC, even though the Trojans mauled Arizona 45 0. Now, USC should move right back to number two. 
in the BCS rankings after their walloping of UCLA today and Ohio State's loss at Michigan. You would think LSU four in the BCS rankings coming in, Steve, and they were ranked third in the AP. You know, there's been speculation LSU could leapfrog Southern Cal. You know, they're five points behind. That's going to take a, a huge leapfrog. Yeah. Can't believe we're talking about football, talking and saying leapfrog. Give me a break. <laughs> Second and ten. Twelve seconds left first half. Gain of eight here, Steve. You lock up Drew Dunning's field goal. This is on. Swagger throws incomplete. He saw the safety right in his face blitzing. Well, you've got eight seconds left. Do you still have time to get a quick pass? Call a timeout? Uh, you do. Dunning's long this year. 49 yards, Steve. And, and right now, I think, you, I think, yeah, you still have time to maybe complete something underneath and call a quick timeout. You might have one second left on the clock. That's all you need. If you're Washington, do you bring the blitz? You, you might just run it right up the middle. As crazy as that sounds. You better call that timeout quickly. No, they will throw. And Swagger's got to get rid of it right now. The catch is made, and they try and call the timeout with one second left. And it is called by Trandon Harvey. Great job by Swagger. They go about 50 yards with 35 seconds. Washington State, Steve, plays good football and you know what this drive they never slowed down right from the beginning a new quarterback comes in the game and, and they're unafraid to throw it down the field ball didn't come out real pretty that time by swagger but harvey does look at him call a timeout as he's on the ground and if dunning makes a field goal here he will tie jason hansen's record for career points in Washington State with 328. He already has the record for most field goals, and he's been one of the most efficient kickers in the college game this year. Yep. 24 of 27. This will be from 34 yards out. Straight on. Little ice by the Huskies. It's tough to ice Drew Dunning. Remember the missed field goal he had against Notre Dame? He has been practically perfect since. And when he came back from Notre Dame, his door was kicked in and he was disappointed. And uh, there were fans that were disappointed. Somebody kicked in his door and wrote uh, <laughs> some <laughs> comments on the door as well. And Drew I'm just kind of let I'm it glad wash you off say his, what they wrote. <laughs> yes, <laughs> off his back. and. Wins had great success. Hey, you, you know what? When you're when you're a kicker, you're gonna get. You, you know, you could be the hero. You could be the goat. He just needs to get some points here in the first half for Bill Dova to be happy. Take a little air out of the crowd. It got uh, rejuvenated when the Huskies went on the board. It's been a nice drive by Washington State, Steve, just to have an opportunity to kick this field goal. Solid, perfect. Washington State back up by six as Drew Dunning kicks his second field goal of the day. Now let's take you to the College Football Saturday Studio Show with Mike Goldberg and Kellen Winslow. <laughs> 